Dionysus, alternatively named Bacchus, Oriacus, Zagreus, Sabasius, and Liber Pater, as well as dozens of titles in the traditions of Greco-Roman mythology, is a deity representing the natural elements of fertility and plant life, but is most renowned as the god of wine and revelry. The presence of his name on a Linear B tablet dating back to the 13th century BCE provides evidence that his worship was present during the Bronze Age Mycenaean period. Yet, the exact origins of his cult remain unknown. He could be even older than that. Throughout various legends associated with his cult, Dionysus is consistently portrayed as having exotic beginnings. To even begin to guess how old Dionysus is, you first have to understand that he is older than the invention of the alphabet. So dating him is tricky. Linear B represents a system of writing that utilized syllabic script to transcribe Mycenaean Greek, recognized as the most ancient form of the Greek language on record. This system of writing was in existence several centuries before the emergence of the Phoenician and Greek alphabet. The earliest instances of Mycenaean inscription trace back to approximately 1500 BCE, but the use of Linear B ceased following the end of the Bronze Age around 1200 BCE. Dionysus shows up in this period. John L. Caskey revealed a monumental archaeological find at the sanctuary of St. Irene of Kia, illustrating sustained religious practices tracing back to the 13th century BC. The oldest recorded consecration at this sanctuary acknowledges Dionysus, Diwa Nusos, as the venerated god. Another exemplary piece of Linear B inscription unearthed during digs at Agia Akertini Square on Castelli Hill in Kania serves as a significant representation of late Minoan devotion to Diwos, or Zeus, and Diwo Nuso, Dionysus. This inscription narrates the offering of honey to Zeus and Dionysus and denotes the presence of a sanctuary dedicated to Zeus in Cadonia. Zeus, with his genitive form Dios, has historically been linked with the Dio prefix in ancient Greek for God, suggesting that the various forms of the name may allude to an original Dios Nisos. 6th century BC, Phariseides of Syros had suggested Nusa, an ancient word for tree. It could possibly have ties to Mount Nisa, the mythological birthplace in the Greek lore of the god Dionysus, where he was cared for by nymphs known as the Nisiads. And it's possible that it could be related to both tree and Mount Nisa. As Homer describes, There is a certain Nisa mountain high, with forests thick of cedar, in Phoenicia afar, close to Egypt's streams. A vase created by Sophilos ascribes names to the Nisiads. Some ancient propositions situated Nisa within Boeotia, the dwelling place of Dionysus' mother Semele. Helicon Mountain and the hamlet of Elithrae were believed to be plausible locations. Thrace was another potential location, possibly due to the early reverence of the god in that region. The Caucasus, another speculated site, situated at the known world's eastern boundary, since Dionysus was presumed to have entered Greece from the east. In the 5th century BCE, Herodotus of Helicarnassus was aware of a mountain by the name of Nisa located in Ethiopia, possibly referring to Jebel Barkal, a place where ancient Nubians offered sacrifices to Amon, Antimachus of Calafon, who lived around the same time as Herodotus, seems to have adopted this idea, relocating Nisa to Arabia 
possibly correlating it with the Arab deity referred to by the Greeks as Oraltop. Diodorus of Sicily cites Antimachus, but he also documents a tradition locating Nisa in Libya. This relocation may be influenced by the worship of Shadrapa in Phoenician colonies along the Libyan coast. Furthermore, Diodorus chronicles ancient traditions situating the god's birth in various places including Elis, Elithrae, Naxos, or Teos. Regardless of his origins, this means that Dionysus can be dated no sooner than the 13th century BCE, but also possibly even older, possibly even in the Copper Age. Nassos Crete is arguably the oldest city in the world, having archaeological evidence dating back to 7000 BCE in the Late Stone Age. The island is rich in copper and is one of the leading possible locations for the beginning of the Copper Age, which began around 4000 to 3500 BCE. The Benoans thrived during this period. Linear B, which Dionysus' name is found in, is generally thought to have evolved from Linear A, the hieroglyphic writing that the Minoans used in one of the oldest forms of writing on Earth. In Minoan Crete, specifically at Nassos, the name Pentheus, a term from subsequent Dionysian mythology, means suffering, was commonly bestowed upon men. It was a common name for the common class. Hungarian philologist Kareny posited that assigning such a name to a child likely implies a substantial spiritual linkage, perhaps as a decryptor for Dionysus himself, who, according to his mythology, is a deity destined to endure and then overcome suffering. In narratives that follow, Pentheus endures agony at the behest of Dionysus' acolytes, hinting at a profound spiritual intertwining. As per Karenyi's analysis, he further hypothesizes that the term man who suffers originally pertained to the deity before being attributed to specific persons as the narrative evolved. Carl A. P. Ruck points out, Pentheus and Dionysus are a mirror of each other in the famous 6th century BCE play called Bacchae by Euripides. The story of Pentheus of Dionysus is closely related to that of Jacob and Esau. In both stories, the birthright is stolen by Jacob or Dionysus from the other family member. Jacob and Esau are both sons in the household of Isaac, while Dionysus and Pentheus are both sons in the household of Cadmus. The name Jacob in Hebrew, Yaakov, is oddly similar to the alternative name for Dionysus, which is Yakus, 